Guys, what did you make of that first night of AFLX football? Yeah, it was obviously a great opportunity for us young boys to, to have a taste of AFL football and, and see what it's like. Um, I certainly am rapt to have done it before I, if, I, if I'm lucky enough to debut, just knowing what the standard like and how strong those players are. I like, got thrown around a bit tonight, but it was good fun to get out there and have a run around and um, just get a bit of the ball. What did you all make of the pace of the game and the movement compared to football you've played previously? Yeah, look, it was a lot quicker than anything I've played before, um, especially AFLX. I mean, we're just running up and down and attackers are defenders, defenders are attackers. So certainly the work rate was, had to be up and I came off quite, quite gassed. But yeah, again, loved it. And for Nathan and Jack, you both set out the first match. What was it like watching on? Were you a little bit nervous? Did it make you a bit more, a bit more toey? Um, I was actually probably yeah, a little bit more nervous uh, during that game than I was when I was actually out there playing, which was... I guess it was good to get that out of the way over and done with early. Um, but as soon as you're out there, you only got, you're only on the field five minutes before the game kicks off, so you don't really have any time to even think about the nerves. So it was, it was good, um, I guess, seeing, seeing the guys go about it the first game and you get a bit of a feel for the game plan and you know, the level and how other teams are going about it. Um, but yeah, I was definitely like, ready to go. I was um, ready to go for that second game. And Nathan, how does that compare to what you experienced leading up to your first match? Um, yeah, it was a lot different. A lot of the match simulation and training has been just normal football and stuff, so a lot quicker, but good to get a taste of it probably early because it could be like that in season. So um, quick game, which is good. Um, not, too, not too hard on the body, not too long. So it was good just to get a taste of it and put on the Collingwood jumper. And for all of you, was it hard to adjust to the different rules from super goals through to the shortened ground, etc.? Was there anything that stood out in particular that was a bit odd or a bit different? Oh, I guess for me, because um, not having played footy in a long time, it was um, it was easy for me to adapt. Um, I actually found myself um, sort of telling the umpire a couple of times that he's not allowed to do that, and it should be our free kick, and we actually got one in the end. Um, when one of the West Coast players had a shot from out of bounds. So it was fine for me. I, me and Steve-O read up on the rules on the way to the airport uh, yesterday. So yeah, I, I loved it and adapted well, I thought. How much prep went in from your points of view of learning the rules and training? How much training did we do in the weeks leading up to the matches? Oh, we did about three matches at training and we went over the rules about two hours before the game tonight. <laughs> so um, it wasn't much different to probably a normal game. Probably the killer for me was the kick-ins there. Normally when you kick a goal, you get that time to reset and stuff, but it just kept going. But um, yeah, not much difference in the rules at all. And um, pretty simple game. There's no real tactics to it, I guess. So it's good fun though. And Jaden, from your point of view, pulling on the Collingwood jumper for the first time and for all of you, what was it like to at least be in that in the sanctum, in that match day environment? Did you take anything special away from it? Yeah, it was a bit surreal, like lining up and warming up with steel side bottom and, and Jack Crisp and that it is it is a lot different to anything you've experienced before and I guess you go from playing under 18 tack cup where you, you're like the big fish I guess and now, now we're the small fish in a big pond so um, it's great to, to warm up and learn off those guys see what they do and yeah it was a great experience. And what's to come for all of you now obviously JLT community series isn't far away but entry clubs on Thursday night. I would say um, from the AFLX, it gave, it gave me a good um, sort of idea of what I needed to work on to be up to that AFL standard. So yeah, for me it was just, um, I guess I took away some points of how I can get better and improve for, you know, selection for that JLT and, you know, uh, AFL season in the future. And from your points of view, Nathan and Jaden, what's, I guess, the aim for the next week or two, playing off what Jack was just talking about with the JLT series? Um, yeah, it'd be awesome. We have Inch Club next Thursday, so it'd be awesome to do well at that and start putting our names up for selection in JLT. But probably for us at the moment, it's just a week at a time, just um, assessing the week as it comes, um, not trying to get too ahead of ourselves. But um, hopefully do all right in the um, Inch Club next week and then JLT, and then season's not too far away. So... Um, a lot of work to do, but yeah, it was a good hit out. Tonight. Definitely, definitely recover well tonight and the next three days. So we've got the next three days off. Make sure get all the fluids back in and the food and that, because yeah, it was quite a big hit out. And with the intra club next week, it's it's probably going to be even bigger. So just recover properly. Beautiful. Thanks for your time, guys, and good luck for the rest of the season to come. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Appreciate Cheers. it.